Well, I think we're on 21 of uh, 52, 2023. And I think, um, you know, I went on a rant about, like, CGI and practical effects and stuff, but sometimes a movie comes along and it just blows you away with new and improved types of special effects and CGI use. And sometimes that movie is amazing and then spawns sequels that are not amazing and you end up having to defend them but you still like them even though you feel like, like some people think you shouldn't but you're like no I, I will defend this because this movie is my favorite adaptation of Romeo and Juliet and it is The Matrix I know what you're thinking what? Why'd you say it's a Romeo and Juliet? Well, uh, if you haven't seen this movie, not spoilers, but also spoilers, but maybe not spoilers, or maybe they are spoilers and you're not really sure of it. Well, you know what? It's ambiguous. Also, there's a ship of thesis problem happening with, like, the fourth one. Matrix Resurrections? Um, there's a ship of thesis in thing, thing in here, and they've, it's, it goes way beyond what it should have, but also, I like it that way. I liked that one too. I liked I liked all of all four of these movies plus the Animatrix. I loved everything related to the Matrix, and I still do. So yeah, so there. Uh huh. Got it. Yeah, I like them all. I like every single one of them. Oh, uh, are some of them good movies? Yes, the first one's been amazing. The second, third, and fourth one are I still think they're good, and that's because I was looking at them as being well Romeo and Juliet. Um, Trinity and Neo in this are from two houses, essentially. Um, they're the Romeo and Juliet of that. This is not Macbeth. This is not, um, a, this is a Shakespeare play. The Wachowski siblings created a Shakespearean epic. They made Romeo and Juliet. That's what this is. It's love between a program and a programmer in a way and then the fourth one flips that around a bit um, but yeah um, this is Romeo and Juliet this is what the Matrix is it is at its heart Romeo and Juliet and I could go into a long hours long discussion about why that is the case I will convey you will come out of there being kind of convinced that I'm crazy but also that, like, ah, I got a good point on some things. But yeah, also, Trinity and Neo, they're ones and zeros. Neo being the one, and Trinity being the zero on this. You wouldn't think, like, they complete each other. The whole program requires them. Everything requires them. But they are doomed to def always be... They're doomed to be apart, but together. It's a weird thing. It's like, it is Romeo and Juliet. It really is, especially when you get to the third one. But it doesn't ever specifically say that. There's too many things where like, Well, this is a Jesus metaphor. No, 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 no. no. This is Romeo and Juliet, man. This is just Romeo and Juliet. And that's why I like it. Because I absolutely adore that that story. Romeo and Juliet, tragic lovers, etc. I have so many variations of that. Romeo X Juliet, it's a fantastic anime series. Uh, Romeo and Juliet, the one Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet, fantastic. Romeo and Juliet, the 2018 one, also pretty fantastic. Um, they went from like, with uh, I think, um, what was it, like Barry Moore, not Drew, of course, but like her father or something like that. There's a whole bunch of, there are so many adaptations of Romeo and Juliet, and I own a bunch of them, and I like them. So there, and I do consider The Matrix to be Essentially, Romeo and Juliet. So there. <laughs> uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. Go watch the movie this week and uh, come back. Morning, Maya.